Allahu a'lam about their intentions and what they do. But I ask you, and I always ask rich, intelligent, intellectual people who talk about Palestine, I ask them, if someone came inside your home, you came home and you found someone in your home, and they, you asked them why you're here. You said, because in a scripture that God gave to me, he said that this house here belonged to me. You would say, no, get out of my house. So they killed your father, they killed your brother, they killed your uncle, they killed everybody except the children. And they stay in that house. And those children they did not kill even though they cannot get back in the house again, every time those children pass by that house, they pick up a stone and they throw it at that house. And those people in the house, they shoot at those children. I would ask you, are those children criminals? If they came, if those children, if that's all they could do was throw a rock at those people that took your house, would those children be criminals? The person said, no. That's a very pathetic situation. I said, that is the condition of Palestine. There's nothing but children throwing stones, facing tanks. But that's all they can do. And I say, that if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala only gives to the children of Palestine rocks to throw and the heart to face tanks, they must face the tanks and they must continue to throw stones because that is an act of honor. And if the men, if there are no more men to throw stones to carry the honor of those people, then the children, they must continue to throw stones until there is no one else to throw a stone.